Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Penny. I am a master esthetician in Portland, Oregon. Today I'm gonna to break down for you at home devices. I have several. I have probably six or seven at home devices and I get the question all the time, does this device do this? Does that device do this? And I thought what might be helpful is to clearly break down for you the modalities of these at home devices, what they will and what they won't do so that you can kind of assess the skin concern that you are wanting to address and rule out the devices that aren't going to, you know, aren't going to address that particular skin concern. I think it'll be really helpful information. If you're new here, I do hope that you will consider subscribing. I also hope that you will follow me over on Instagram. It is so fun over there, you guys. Super casual environment. I'm doing a lot of IGTV, and it's just a really great way to connect and interact over there. I will put a link to my Instagram in the description box, and I hope that you will check it out. So first things first, I'm gonna to touch quickly on two modalities that are very near and dear to my heart that are not new at all on the market, and that is microneedling and LED. Now, these are not part of the modalities that we're really gonna talk about today, but I think for context, it's important for you to understand what they do. Microneedling is going to use needles, as the name would suggest, to puncture the skin and kind of fake it out with micro injuries so that the body goes into a wound healing response and the end result of that is some collagen production. So microneedling is all about collagen for the skin. It also helps with all kinds of other things like cell to cell communication, and it can help to even pigment. I would not say it treats pigment, but it can help to even pigment because it increases that cellular crosstalk. But that's what microneedling does. Microneedling is about the skin. It is about the dermis when we're doing medical needling. That's really important to differentiate because not all of these devices are about the skin and we will get to that. The next would be LED. Now LED uses light. So microneedling uses needles. LED uses light. Light emitting diode is what LED stands for. LED comes in all kinds of different colors and each color corresponds to a wavelength that gets to a certain depth in your skin. And at different depths in your skin, there are different processes going on. So each color of light gets into a certain depth to affect a certain process and hopefully improve it. So LED is light used to treat the skin. It is very subtle, it is very non-invasive, it's gentle, there is zero downtime. Okay, so that's microneedling and LED. Both are modalities that treat the skin, okay? So now I wanna get into four more modalities. The modalities that we're gonna talk about are RF, which stands for radio frequency. We are also going to talk about microcurrent. We're gonna talk about IPL, which is intense pulsed light. And then we're gonna talk about laser, at home laser. So what you need to know about these four modalities, we will start, I have a little bit of notes here, my friends. We're gonna start with RF. I get so many questions about RF. In office, the doctor that I work with does perform RF. She has a fantastic uh, platform from InMode and she treats people with radio frequency. And the entire point of radio frequency is that you apply an applicator to someone's skin with a conductivity gel and that applicator emits a radio frequency that is heat. And that heat penetrates into the dermis, heats it to a certain temperature, and that in turn causes collagen production. There's, there's a series of events there, of course, but what you need to know is radio frequency is using a, is for heat into the dermis to tighten the skin and help produce collagen. Okay, so the dermis is a layer of your skin. So radio frequency is about treating the skin, tightening the skin, and helping to produce collagen. That is RF. Now, when you're talking about at-home devices, clearly they're not gonna get as warm as the in-office devices. So this is where repeated, repeated, repeated use is going to give you any kind of result. I have to tell you that for me, the jury is out. The 
device that I have that I am testing is the NUA. This is an at-home radio frequency device. I haven't used it long enough to give you any feedback except for that it's super, super pleasant to use. And you know, for that, it feels like a hot stone massage. It's very nice. It actually does feel a little bit like RF in office, only RF in office is absolutely a lot warmer. It gets much warmer than this device. So this is at home RF using radio frequency to deliver heat into the dermis to stimulate collagen and tighten the skin. That is RF, okay? Next one we will talk about is IPL. IPL stands for intense pulsed light. So in office, again, the doctor that I work with, she does IPL. What IPL does is it is an applicator that sends out scattered light. That scattered light gets into your skin and is absorbed by targets. The targets are pigment typically. That's what IPL is going after, pigment and blood. It, it seeks out these targets. Those targets absorb that light energy convert it into heat, it gets converted into heat, heat again, and that heat destroys its target. So IPL uses light converted into heat to destroy pigment and blood, reds. So broken capillaries and also pigment. Now in at-home devices, the only one I have used is the Faustina. And I've talked about this, it was several months ago, I used this for several, several weeks and I definitely did notice an improvement in my pigment. I specifically used it right in this area on an age spot that I find to be particularly, um, it's tough for me. I've used skincare on it and it's just, it's a, it's a resistant uh, sunspot, honestly, age spot. And I did use this diligently and it absolutely did lighten that age spot. So this is using light, driving it into the skin. The, the pigment in that sunspot is absorbing the light and it gets converted into heat and slowly over time, because obviously this, this intense pulse light is nowhere near as strong as in office nowhere near. It is a super fraction of it, which is why you have to do it all the time to get any kind of result. Something I want to give you as far as an update on that as well is that I moved on to doing other tests of other devices. And so I haven't been treating this area with this device for several weeks now. And I will tell you that I am noticing that my pigment seems to be not necessarily coming back, but a little bit darker than when I finished my treatment session, my treatment round with the Faustina. So what that tells me is if you have stubborn pigment like me, or you want to do something like the Faustina, you probably should plan on it being ongoing to keep that pigment at bay. If you get a good result, you're probably going to have to revisit it at least, you know, several more times that year. If not, just continue to do it and not ever stop using this device. Now they, they come with a gazillion flashes. I mean, I think that originally each lamp, which this is detachable, you can buy replacement lamps. Each one I think had 300,000 flashes when I originally got this. And I think now you can get lamps with even more flashes. But I will also tell you that that entire treatment round that I did, I, I mean, I don't even know that I'll ever be able to get through a quarter of the flashes that are in this bulb. So yes, there are replacement bulbs, but man, it would take a lot of, a lot of treatments before you're going to get through those flashes in a bulb. So that is intense pulse light. It's for pigment and it is for things like broken capillaries. I did not see any change in my broken capillaries. It's not something that is a terrible issue for me, but I didn't see a change. I have talked to other people that have used the IPL from Faustina and they did see a change in their broken capillaries. So, you know, I can take them obviously for their word, but I didn't personally see that. I saw a change 
in my browns, in my pigment from aging sunspots. Now they call this the um, skin rejuvenation lamp. And there are studies that show that IPL, like in office IPL, can over time help induce collagen. But I would say that if you are looking for treating fine lines, if you're looking for you know sagging skin, any of that stuff, it's not the IPL that you want. IPL is for pigment. That's, that's what this is all about is pigment. You can use this for hair removal. There is another lamp that is for hair removal. Unfortunately, my hair isn't dark enough to treat with a, an IPL, but that is something that is an option on one of these at home IPL as well. So important to know, very important to know that it isn't really about your muscle. It's not about sagging. It's not about fine lines. It's about pigment. For IPL. Okay, next one we're going to talk about is laser. Now, the laser that I've been using, the only laser that I've used at home so far is the Nera. This little guy has been incredibly impressive to me. I'm still in the middle of my treatment with the Nera. Um, I already have my 30 days in and I'm moving into you know, mid 60 day range. When I get all the way through, I will definitely do a full Nera update. And what I love about this little laser is that it's super, super easy to use. So when we're talking about laser as a modality, what you need to know is that it is light again. So just like IPL and LED, it is light that is used in a collimated fashion, which if you think about like a laser light that you use to play with a cat and how it's this beam of light, that is laser. Laser is light that is traveling in a monochromatic, so one color, collimated, so a column, and it's traveling in a cohesive fashion. So it is like laser, you know? I mean, that if you think about when you describe something with laser focus, it's like, psh, that's laser. Now, laser is going to enter into your dermis and depending on what you're trying to treat, if you're using laser to remove hair, it is going to be absorbed by the hair bulb and that energy is going to destroy the hair bulb over time and certainly at home in order to get some hair reduction. Now, when it comes to anti-aging or to try and treat fine lines, what that laser beam is going to do is induce collagen in the dermis. So a laser uses light to enter into the dermis and induce collagen. So the laser is also about skin and collagen, right? Okay, so as far as the Nera is concerned, it's FDA approved, it's a tiny little laser, it's really just good for around your eyes. It is so small, I have people ask me, can I use that full face, you know, that kind of thing? It would take you eight days to use this on your full face. So I don't really think, I definitely think, you know, around the mouth, around the eyes, they, it's just for around the eyes, but around the mouth is totally doable. And you know, smaller areas, if you really had some lines that you wanted to treat or a specific line, this would be great for that. Big areas, this isn't the laser for that. But I do think that this is pretty cool because it's really easy to be compliant. I've so far had great success with it because I actually do it. That's the thing with all of these home devices, you only get results if you actually do you do the treatment. And if you're not gonna be compliant or you're not willing to commit, it's not worth buying at all. So I like this one for that because it's a really easy commitment and you do start to see results after about 30 days. Are they like in office results? No, they are not. I There just is no comparing any of this to in office you know, devices or in office treatments, but this is in the comfort of your own home. This is a one-time purchase. You do it consistently. So, I mean, you know, everything has its pros and cons, but that is laser. Now, the last modality that we're gonna talk about could be my favorite, and that is microcurrent. Now, microcurrent uses 
energy. It uses electricity to deliver micro amps of energy into your muscle. Now this is a completely different modality than any of these others because its treatment target is muscle. Okay, that is a huge thing to understand because it's the only one out of these that targets something other than your skin. Now, a byproduct of using microcurrent is that it will help to induce something called adenosine triphosphate or ATP. Now, ATP is like the life source of your cells. And in turn, when you um, up the production of your ATP, you also up the production of collagen and elastin. So microcurrent, even though its target is muscles, educating and re-educating your muscles to be in better shape, it does have an effect on your skin in a, an indirect fashion. When you get into a series of microcurrent, you will notice a lift. It is about lifting, relaxing muscle and lifting and tightening and re-educating muscle. But there is something called a microcurrent glow because of that production of ATP and because of the collagen production and everything that is kind of a side benefit. It's not the number one thing that's going on in my opinion but it is a huge side benefit to get all of that extra ATP generated. Okay, so as far as microcurrents are concerned, you've probably heard of the new face. I actually just ordered a new face this morning because I wanna do some comparison. And the one that I have been using a ton is the MyoLift. Now, I have the mini. I actually also have the 600, which is a professional device from MyoLift. I have and love the gloves. These are conductivity gloves that go with the MyoLift. You plug them in, you wear some latex gloves, and then you put those conductivity gloves over, and you're able to use your hands to do the treatment. I think that that is probably one of the most user-friendly ways to incorporate an at-home device. And the super cool thing about microcurrent is that you get pretty instant gratification. You can do one side of your face and see the lift. You can see the sculpt of the cheekbones. You can see the lift of the eyebrow. You can lift to the corner of your mouth and kind of change this situation here. You can tighten up your jawline. Now, of course, one time you might see that. How long is that gonna last? Not that long at all. But with continued use, what you're doing is you're building up that ATP. You're re-educating those muscles to be where you want them to be, where they were when you were more youthful. And so with continued use, you can get sustainable results with microcurrent, which is why I think it's so cool. It's also super, super pleasant to use. So the importance here is that microcurrent targets muscles and it has the side benefit of boosting your ATP and collagen and, and your circulation, which just feeds your cells and helps with more of a radiant complexion. So that's the difference between the modalities. So once again, we have microcurrent, which affects your muscles. We have laser, which is light that is going to affect your skin and help with fine lines. We have IPL, which is also light that converts to heat that is all about pigment and reds. So it's all about pigment and reds, not something that's gonna affect your muscles, not something that's gonna lift your skin, not something that is going to you know, retexturize your skin. So that is IPL. And then we have RF. RF is radio frequency that uses heat to stimulate collagen in the dermis, okay? So that is about skin tightening and lifting, okay? So hopefully this will help you guys. I have a chart that I've probably put on the screen already. I'm gonna share that on Instagram so that you can reference it. My website is going up any minute now, and I am gonna have all of these on my website so that you can see them, download them, keep them, all of that stuff. So I do hope that you will check out my website when it goes live because I'm gonna do a newsletter and a blog and all kinds of fun stuff. 
but a lot of these references will be on my website also. So that will be a great resource for you guys. I'm hoping that this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, I am happy to answer them. I'm happy to chat with you in the comment section and yeah, just go over devices and help you understand a little bit more what they will and what they won't do. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week and I will talk to you in my next skincare video. Take care.